Good morning and welcome from Glasgow, Montana. Today, a couple of buddies and I are going out on to Fort Peck, Montana, a place that we have been to before, and we're gonna be going camping for some giant lake trout. Oh, you have to ask them first if you can kiss them. Hey guys, can I kiss him? <laughs> This was a bad idea. Alright, we got this cute little tiny house we're using today to camp in. This is my first time setting up this little one-man house. We're gonna see if we can't turn it into a camper. As you can maybe see out on the lake, there's not a whole lot of snow cover. And usually along the outside of the house, I embank the sides with snow, so the wind's not coming under. But we just drilled an ice hole, and we have a lot of slush. I'm just trying to fill any gaps where the skirt might separate. And I'm actually gonna push it outside so I can just put it on the skirt. Let me get the rest of camp set up. I'm thinking the best spot for the bed is going to be right there. Hopefully, it fits. Okay, not quite as tight to the wall as I'd like it, but beggars can't be choosers. You got a fit? Yeah, this is a huge unit. Yeah, dude, they all came out the same time. I should be fishing right now, huh? Probably, dude, first laker in seven years through the ice. <laughs> he guides them every day on open water, but first yeah. one through the ice, huh? In seven years? Seven years since I was like 14. Well, that's a pretty good one, dude. It's like stocky. There you go. Cool. Yeah. That's a perfect dude, eater. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Dude, that's sick. That, yeah, that yeah. gives us some hope. Let's go! Nice. nice. Good cool. way to start. Yeah. Bye bye! wind outside right now is absolutely insane. We're at 40 miles an hour sustained and up to 60 mile an hour gusts. We've got two fish so far while we were setting up, but I'm finally all cozy here. I've got my two fish finders ready. This one's not working very well right now, so we'll see if I actually end up using that one. It's a lot of fun, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Got the heater going and I've got all my bedding and stuff situated for later but this is the uh this is the new house it's a lot tinier i can't quite stand up straight in it but sometimes good things come in small packages right i would like a snack Wow. Yep. That's good. <laughs> There's our water supply for the next couple of days.
Apparently, you just put boiled water in it, and then you let it sit covered for five minutes. Oh, so it's like ramen? Mm hmm. Apparently. We'll see if it works. It's my first time making it. Marie, you want like this much pasta or how much you want? Oh, the handful. What's going on here? Oh boy. That looks good. All right, open it up and like mix it around. See if those noodles are cooked. If they're not, I have more hot water here so we can add it to it. All right, let's see what we're working with. I'm so satisfied that we're All right, Cajun pasta. It gets a thumbs up for me. You think good? Nine out of 10. Bomb. Better than the cat food MRE. Way better. <laughs> Way better. Easy to make, dude. There's water. I like that. We're gonna finish up some lunch. Well, I guess it's like early dinner technically, or an appetizer to dinner. And then we're gonna head back over to the house and see if we can't catch a lake trout before it gets dark out. house next door made some cheeseburgers for dinner no lake trout today for me but i'm happy that we at least got some as a as a squad um i think we ended up getting two they're both on the ice so we're gonna have some lunch tomorrow um i've got a pretty big meal planned for everybody tomorrow so it'd be fun if we can get on some fish um you might have noticed in this video and maybe some in the past some new clothing with this logo on it or this logo and i'm excited to announce that we're finally releasing the custom outerwear for the mav outdoors brand this is really exciting news and it's something that we've been working on for the last year we're finally bringing custom cut and sew clothing to the market so outdoor clothing that i would 100 percent back this stuff is super high quality we have a workwear pant featuring a flexible gusset. It's got ventilation on the side with mesh backing. Some storage. An unbuckled belt. Just kidding, you don't get the unbuckled belt. An adjustable bottom that allows it for a more tapered fit. And even a reinforced side for a knife. We will be releasing a puffy jacket that has this really nice durable fabric on the outside. Honestly, one of the nicest puffy jackets I've ever felt. These have been gone through inside and out. We have a zip out snow liner, glove pockets, ventilation. I mean, these are up there top of the line quality with the biggest names in the outdoor industry. So I'm very excited to be bringing this product out. And then we're also releasing a comfort series, which is this comfort top and the matching bottom, which I don't have with me right now. But I've been working on this stuff for the last year year and a half and finally we have something to show for it after many many prototypes and many trials we finally got it right and i feel confident enough to bring it to market so right now on the website we're running a pre-sale on every item you just saw um it's available for purchase now but it's not going to ship until the fall but you are going to get a limited edition poster for being a first time supporter of the mav outdoors brand so if you want to go check it out go to mavmadeit.com take a look at the offerings I'm very excited to be showing what we made and hopefully you guys like it too. I'm also excited to catch a lake trout and that hasn't happened yet, which sucks because it is definitely dark out now and lake trout don't like the dark. I am absolutely exhausted right now, working with a couple brain cells and definitely in a food coma because I ate four cheeseburgers. <laughs> I am going to get some shut eye just as soon as that's evaporated 
and then I will see you in the morning for some more fishing and camping. Morning. All right, we're fishing this morning. We're gonna catch us a lake trout. Marking. Yeah, big mark. Oh, here comes. He chased me all the way up to the hole. What's this guy doing? He's just playing with his food. Oh, it's a good one. Is it's it? a really good one. Don't throw the trip yet. It's a really good one. Is it big? It's a big fish. Yeah, it is. This is gonna be hectic in this little house. Yep. Like big, big? Probably 10. Nice, dude. that wide. Really? Yeah, it's a nice fish. It's gonna be a while now. He's uh, he took a nice run there. Oh, that is so cool. Can you see him all the way down there? Yeah, like 40 feet. Oh my gosh. No, I can't. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Man. Thank you. All right, first fish for me for the trip from bed. Even this little house is hectic. What a beautiful lake trout. Jay got it. Dude, there. it's so fat. Dude, it's like. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, these fish are so fun. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> that was pretty cool, really. <laughs> dude, let's go. <laughs> oh, buddy. Let's go. Should have brought a towel. I think I got underwear. We're waking up on a school of lake trout. It's 8.30 right now. And we're marking. Marking. Got him. Yep. He hit it on the fall. <laughs> I think it's another decent one. I haven't got the look on it yet. Thanks, bud. Does it look small? No. Nice. Oh, it's decent. Whoa. It's already right here. This one might be a little squirrely. Yeah, it's a little smaller. Careful of that chicken wrap. Got him. Burping. Good, full release. All right. Whoa. You can put him right back down the hole if you want. You don't want to pick? No, nah, it's good. <laughs> Sick one. That's cool. 26? Yeah, 25, 26. All right. 25 pounds. That's fun. Thank you. Heck yeah, dude. Keep crashing. We're going to try. That's fun. I love catching lake trout. And the best part is, is we have the rest of the day, and I have a bunch of groceries to cook a giant meal for everyone at the end of the night. This is gonna be a fun day on the water. There's only about 20 of these rods left, the Mav Faro. This is the lake trout rod I'm using. If you guys are looking to get into some lake trout fishing or you're just looking for the best rod that money can buy on mavmated.com. All right, we just left the house. On a little ATV ride. We're gonna be doing a little bit of hole hopping for a second here. The auger battery's at about half, so we're gonna see what we can do. I decided to break the drone out for the first time and while I was tinkering and stuff, Brody got away from me and ended up catching the best fish of the trip or his best fish of the trip. Pretty sweet, got some drone footage of it. So we're out on the same flat that we are fishing this morning. We marked a few here. We're gonna see if we can't catch another one because it's just too nice of a day to not be outside. All right, we're back from our little adventure. Auger is officially dead and we're making some lake trout for lunch.
coming in there, boy. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. Here's a look at the, the boys' campsite. Got a couple bunks in here. Yeah. And a fish absolutely flying at Murray right now. Yeah, Brody. Oh, he's on you, though. Oh. Dang. Oh, did I think that was going to bite? <laughs> wow. Is bomb. That's hot. Oh, oh, there we go. Salt bay. Is that it? That's the one. That's good. Fresh lake trout. <laughs> Went with some chicken fry, some crispy chicken fry <laughs> on this one. And it actually turned out really nice. Alright, this recipe is called King Ranch Chicken, and it comes from Rachel W. from Texas. She said that this was a staple in our house when she was growing up in Texas, so we're going to see if we can't do it any justice here, out on the lake. Hey, Murray, can you bring me the spices? Thanks, boy. I've got my pressure cooker with me and we're gonna power it using the jackery. Just gotta take my power cord here and plug it in. All right, and then we're gonna lock the lid. We're gonna do pressure cook. We're gonna go over to poultry. We're gonna do high. Uh, we might try low. What does Rachel say? Not very often are you cooking, fishing, and enjoying a beautiful view. Alright, surprisingly no fish while we were cooking. I thought that that would be a nice invite for chaos, but looks like we're done pressure cooking, so we gotta do the fun part. How to do It's like 90 degrees in here. It's like a sauna, yeah. What? It's 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees. All right.
that whole thing off on there, and then you can deal with it. There you go. Oh, it smells. If it tastes half as good as it smells, we're good. All right. King Ranch Chicken Tacos. They smell <laughs> phenomenal. 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 <laughs> They're bombed. They're good? They're bombed. <laughs> Sick one. Didn't thicken up as I thought I was going to, but I think it smells amazing. I think it's probably fine. More than five. Oh yeah, Boston? that's pretty bomb. Oh yeah. All right, fellers. Thanks for dinner, man. Yep. It was so bomb. Good night. Yeah, that was bomb. See you in the morning. Let's crush one in the morning. Yeah, you guys sleep tight, eh? See you in the morning for some more fishing. Good morning. Brody, yeah. I got something for you. Come here. I'll hand it out my window. Oh, <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs>